Hi, this is Todd from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be going over all crossguard lightsaber types and all known users of the crossguards. As always, we're mixing the expanded universe and canon because we believe that there's no reason why most of it can't fit together. So anyway, let's begin. At number one, we have the standard crossguard lightsaber, which was the most common type of the crossguards. They were most notably seen during the Old Republic era, as well as the Great Scorch of Malachor, which was probably around the same time as well. It was mostly used by the Jedi Order, although Sith have been seen using them as well. The standard crossguard lightsaber had two smaller blades on the sides of the hilt, which were used to block or catch an opponent's blade, as well as shunt power away from the main blade. At number two is the forked lightsaber, which was a variant of the crossguard. They were most notably seen during the Clone Wars era and also during the time of the Galactic Empire. Instead of having two smaller blades on both sides, the forked lightsaber only had one which was at a 45 degree angle from the main blade. Its purpose was probably the same as with the standard crossguard. At number 3, we have another forked lightsaber, which instead of having one smaller blade at a 45 degree angle, it had two. It was most notably seen during the Clone Wars, and it was wielded by the Night Sisters when they fought against the Jedi. At number 4 is the Vented Dual Saber, which was a variant of the Crossguard, which had four blades. It consisted of a double-bladed lightsaber, which had two smaller blades on one of its sides, so it's basically a standard Crossguard lightsaber with another blade at the back and a longer hilt. This type of lightsaber was most notably seen during the Old Republic era, around 3600 years BBY. It was mostly used by the Sith, but Jedi have been seen wielding it as well. At number 5, we have more of an honorable mention, which is this awesome looking lightsaber. We are not sure where it's from, or who wields it, or even that it ever was an official part of Star Wars, but nonetheless, we consider it as canon for ourselves and believe that the mysterious figure exists somewhere. Who knows, we might even make up some fanfiction for our headcanon. Anyway, now we're gonna go over all the characters that wielded crossguard lightsabers. At number one, we have Roblio Darte, who was a Jedi general in the Grand Army of the Republic, who wielded a blue-bladed forked lightsaber with one smaller blade. When Order 66 was issued, he managed to survive and went into hiding. During the Great Jedi Purge, he met with seven other fellow Jedi to decide what their next move should be. Soon after, Darth Vader and the 501st Legion found them and killed them. One by one, Darte was the one that survived the longest until he was shot down. Anyway, if you want to see his full story, we did a separate video on it and the link will be in the description below. At number two is an unidentified Grand Jedi who lived during the height of the Galactic Empire. He wielded an exact same lightsaber as Roblio Darte, which was a blue forked lightsaber. He was seen fighting against a stormtrooper and a scout trooper. At number 3 is Daz Ranos, who was a female Chiss Jedi Master who was active during the revolt against the Eternal Empire, which lasted from 3632 BBY to 3630 BBY. Hoping to assist in the fight against the Eternal Empire, Ranos joined the Outlanders Alliance. She wielded two blue-bladed standard crossguard lightsabers. At number 4 are the Night Sisters wielded the red forked lightsabers with two smaller blades. They were most notably seen during the Clone Wars when they fought against Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano. It is unknown how many of them there were. At number 5 are all the rest of the Jedi from the Old Republic era that wielded such sabers, including the ones from the Great Scorch of Malachor, which were eradicated when the Sith Temple superweapon misfired. Also we gotta mention that Ezra wielded a green crossguard lightsaber for three whole seconds. And finally at number six, we have Kyle Ren, AKA Ben Solo, who was the son of Han Solo and Leia Organa, who was born in 5 ABY. As a boy, Ben had feelings of abandonment due to his parents' busy lives, which would later be exploited by Supreme Leader Snoke, the leader of the First Order. Because of this, Leia sent Ben to train with his uncle Luke Skywalker at his newly founded Jedi Order because she believed it would help him. Although, in the end, he was seduced by the dark side of the Force and destroyed Luke's Jedi Order. 
he would become the master of the Knights of Ren and a commander in the First Order, as well as take on the name Kyle Ren. Ren idolized his grandfather, the fallen Sith Lord, Darth Vader, and hoped to finish what Vader started, the elimination of the Jedi. That led him to search for Luke Skywalker, who was in a self-imposed exile. Kylo Ren wielded a standard crossguard lightsaber which had a cracked kyber crystal which made its blade have an unstable fiery appearance. It was based of an ancient design dating back to the Great Scorch of Malachor. He used this lightsaber to murder his fellow peers at Luke's Jedi Academy as well kill his father, Han Solo. Anyway, we have decided to answer a question about Kylo Ren and The Force Awakens which people frequently ask us due to the fact that we included him in this video which is a very rare occasion because we never do anything sequel related because we dislike the post Return of the Jedi canon. But we had to include him because whether we like it or not, he 100% fits on this list. Now the thing about post Return of the Jedi stories is that we don't consider them as canon for ourselves which is a personal matter because we believe that episode 6 should be the happy ending in the Star Wars story. And yes, we dislike The Force Awakens a lot but Kylo Ren as well as his lightsaber and BB-8 have such an awesome design and are personally for us the best part about The Force Awakens. We also think that the Resistance X-Wings are very beautifully done even though they're not very original in design. So that's what we like about The Force Awakens and the sequels a lot but that's about it for now. We just wanted to use this opportunity of something sequel related being in our video to answer a few questions regarding that topic. Anyway guys, this is it on the video and we hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. If you want to watch more videos like this one, the link to the playlist of our other Star Wars stories will be in the description down below. And also, if you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button for even more videos like this one. And remember guys, God is awesome, may the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video. You rebel scum. This party's over.